Servicing the Pure 5T is a very simple task. You want to discharge all the energy in the drying system. Uh, one thing you can do is you can check the water separator. It's a stainless steel mesh, so servicing or replacing of this element is not always needed or rarely needed. So you can pull this mesh out. You want to hold on to it a little bit as you take the tube out. Look inside the tube for uh, big chunks of debris, uh, things that could foul up the float drain or the pneumatic drains that are also an option on these units. Um, nothing of major consequence here, so then I want to slide that up, make sure the mesh is touching the outer tube. We can screw that housing back on. The oil coalescing filter service is very important. It needs to be done every six months mandatory. And in certain systems, you may find that you're doing this every three to four months, depending on the incoming quality of the air. But servicing the coalescing filter is very easy. Take the housing out. You can look inside, take the bottom cap off if you want to cl thoroughly clean this or rinse it out with uh, hot soapy water. You loosen this bottom baffle, it unscrews. You'll slide your element down, it has a top uh, adapter at the top. You take your old element, you set it aside, you get your new element. The new element's going to come with these gaskets, so you take your adapter, place your gasket over it, slide your new element there. There's an O-ring at the top of the adapter to make contact to the surface in the head so that we get a good seal. You take your bottom baffle and gasket, combine those two, and you simply screw it back on. And all you have to do with this bottom at baffle is once it starts going snug, kind of like uh, an oil filter, you just have to go a half turn past snug and that creates a good seal. Put your tube back on. Now you've just serviced the pre-filters. Uh, the towers on top, if you do a good job of keeping oil off them, are going to give you one to three years worth of life and in certain instances and applications you might get a little bit longer. But when it does come time to service the tower, it's really nice and easy and it unscrews just like an oil filter. You take your tower off, has a gasket on the bottom. You take your new tower, put a light film of grease on the top and the bottom to help create a sealing surface, tuck it into the tower. You go to nice and snug, and just like an oil filter, quarter to a half a turn past snug, and you just service the towers. So now that we've serviced the towers, the last thing that you want to do every six months, uh, or every year for sure, is you want to take these piston covers off and lubricate your pistons, and that's easily accomplished. You loosen up four bolts. The cover comes off just like that. You can use your uh, hex wrench or there's a half 13 thread on the inside that you could screw a bolt in it to help pull that out. Take your piston out. You want to lubricate the first three nitro rings, the front ceiling surface you don't have to lubricate. There's a spring inside here, so you want to lubricate your bore. You can put a little bit of lubrication on your spring. Take your lubricated piston, slide it back in there so it's nice and smooth. Get all four of the bolts started. And then you can walk that piston cover in so that you don't cut the, the ceiling O-ring. And here you want to go tight, but you don't have to over crank down on these bolts. The O-ring makes the seal, and so you just want to make sure it's securely fastened to the dryer plate. And that's how you lubricate the pistons.